right, so way back when, um, I bought the Kato Kato starter pack, which came with this guy. It was the original, or I don't know if this was the original, but it was my original power pack. Um, and it did its job, but then something happened with my normal layout. Um, down over here, last two years ago, and the trains just weren't really running right. I thought my power pack was going bad. So I ended up buying, um, well, if I come over here, uh, the newer version of the power pack because I thought my old one was going bad. Let me get a new one. And so that's where I got this guy. Now, when I did my double track and now I have two independent circuits, I needed a second one. So I bought a second one, but that left me with a problem because if I come back to where my desk is over here, I had, you know, this guy, and I put this desk layout together when I got the first power pack over there because I'm like, now what do I do with my second one? Because back then I just had one circuit on the ground. But because this guy was on my desk, I was like, hey, now I can make a really cool, you know, desk layout. Well, the problem with that is I, I realized with the other new power packs, like the lights on the trains work way better, way better. It's night and day. And to demonstrate that, um, I'm going to show you here why that is here in a second because, you know, I did buy a new power pack to replace that guy because the lights work so much better with the newer ones. Of course, you also have to buy the actual power supply sold separately for absolutely no reason because if you open up the box here, like 99 times out of 100, if you're going to go buy a new power pack, you're going to need the power connector to go with it. And it's like they clearly have the space for it right here. You know, this box probably even fits right inside. Look at that. Perfect fit. Why would they sell this separately? It's annoying and dumb. But it is what it is, so you have to buy that too. But then here's the brand new one. Um, which will go up here. You can see the difference between the two. So you know what version you got. Um, this one's still connected, so if I turn on See, the trains, the train is moving, but I see no lights. And if I even, I crank it. Oh, that's the, <laughs> that's the unconnected one, duh. All right, so here you're kind of starting to see the lights come on, but they're all flickery. Um, here's the engine I got running. It's kind of dark, but that's so you can see the lights in the background. Uh, lights are very flickery. It's not really until here that the lights stay on at a consistent rate. And you can see how fast the train's moving. It's a little loud. Of course, I got a lot of cars lined up to kind of show this, but it's just a little loopy desk layout that goes around my computer. So you can, you know, enjoy a train passing by when you're on the computer. Now, why don't we stop this, connect the new guy, and whoa, show how the new one works. All right, new one all plugged in here. We are ready to roll. Let's crank her up and see what happens. So, oh, look at that. Right here, look at, look at that power. It's like a fourth of the way up and the lights are already like on. <laughs> it's an incredible difference. Train's not moving, a little bit of a flicker. If I crank it even more. Okay, it's just starting to roll there. For the most part, they're on with a little bit of a flickering. But if I crank it halfway, I mean, we didn't even see lights really until a little past here on the last power pack. And look at this, this is incredible. Smooth, quiet, this is what I want on my desk. This is perfection right here. So good. Like I said, it's just a it's just a big loop that goes around. Works perfectly. The only problem with this layout is these turns are less than it's the one step down from 11 inches, which means a lot of your bigger engines aren't going to work. I've noticed <laughs> But look at that. 
That is so cool. Definitely worth the upgrade, let me tell you. If you got a DC circuit like me and not going fancy with the DCC, this is the way to go. I mean, you need that new power pack in order to have these lights on and, and at slower speed. Because as you saw before I swapped them out, it just didn't really work right. But this is really good. This is, this is like I said, worth the upgrade. Even though I crank it up a little bit, there you go. So cool. Uh, back here you'll see I did, so, uh, I have a trussle bridge. Whoa, too far. Uh, where all my wires are going across. <laughs> um, from the monitors and the cable and the power pack and all that. But uh, yeah, this is great. See, I got dual screens on my PC. And then over here, I got two more screens to put up whatever, three more screens really. <laughs> screens everywhere, but this is really like, this is peak perfection and, and the dream is coming true. Let me tell you, uh, I'm really happy with where my place is coming along and what everything looks like. And it's just a cool setting to work and live in. Let me tell you, I enjoy it greatly. And now that I got this new power pack on my desk, I can enjoy even more so a slow moving train with lights in the dark here. It's perfection. It is so great. <laughs> I love it. And maybe I inspired you to go out and get yourself a new power pack yourself. If you were struggling with the lights like I did before, trying to get them to stay on, uh, on a DC circuit. So highly recommended the new power pack. Um, it works pretty good. Like I said, I haven't, haven't had any problems with my other ones that I have on my main layout that goes, you know, around the place. But this one on the desk is uh, top notch now. <laughs> now that I got it to where I want it to be, I can have a train like this running around uh, as I'm on the computer. It's great. And, and entirely enjoyable and relaxing. So I will end it there. More to come, of course, as always, but I uh, just wanted to do a quick little update to show you how this works. And uh, as expected, it works great. So way to go, Kato Kato. <laughs> I need to start calling him that because Kato just sounds weird, but Kato sounds right. But I know Kato is correct, unfortunately. So Kato Kato it is. <laughs>